So hello, and uh, welcome back to uh, the next episode of the New Adventures of the Time Machine. Um, we have actually been locked up, and uh, we are thrown into the jail with the Chief of the Rebels. If Harmikal sent you, I find his strategy quite mediocre. I won't talk, you viscerhead lackey. You can tell your master that... Madam... You misunderstand me. I am no one's lackey. As for the Hierarch, I have met thugs in London who have better manners than that sinister character. Hmm. You don't speak like a Sandman. Who are you? My name is Wells. I am a traveler being held prisoner far from home. Do you have a name, madam? I've noticed that many people here do not. My name is Ashimira. The rebels of the desert are my allies. You are the chief of the rebels. I never have imagined. Well, I am old-fashioned. Well, there's also the thing that the guards mentioned that uh, he himself, uh, when they mentioned the chief, so so, it was um, a bit of a mix-up. You are one of the Hierarch's enemies. What cause are you fighting for? Harmakal is a tyrant and a usurper. The real sovereign of the city is Ulmereth, the musician king. The Sand people think that Ulmereth was deharmonized by Kronos. That's not true. It's the Hierarch who locked him up. Do you think he is still alive? He's immortal, like all of us. He's locked up somewhere in the city, but I will succeed in liberating him with the help of my comrades. The legend of Ulmereth. Do you think it's true? Did he really find the gates of eternity? I'm sure of it. Ulmereth was not the same man after his voyage. If only I could meet him, perhaps then I could find Kronos. Find Kronos? That's an excellent idea. That would solve all our problems. Why didn't I think of that sooner? We have to get out of here, but how? The guards took away my weapons. But I do still have chronomantics. Ask Kronos to perform a miracle. Please, spare me your sarcasm, madam. I will find a solution. How are you? Where is my black salt gem? This is our chance, Wells. Okay, so we've transformed back into a child, and um, the first thing we are going to do is pick up the key that the guard left. And get out of here. Now we are going to head straight into the cell on the right here. Because that guard is going to come back in a second. I just made it. A little longer and the wave would have carried me away. I don't believe it. So the next thing you have to do is just um, lock the door. Open this gate immediately. Open it or I'll get me out of here. No, we don't. So we can go into this left passage here. Uh, I'll, I'm just going to show you, but um, set me free. I can help you get out of here. When you do, there's actually a guard in there who be then begins to uh, ring the bell and uh, brings a lot of uh, guards in here, which will just kill us. But um, set me free. You won't regret it. But there is a black soul gem in that um, in that. Um, Cell, but we're we're not going to get bother with it. We're just going to move on. So 
So this is the bell here. Um, if you fail to lock the guard into the cell, he will ring his mates and um, will make life quite difficult for us. But um, there is another cell here. This cell is empty and there is nothing in that corner. And um, here we actually find the guy we rescued from the uh, from the rack. The breath of Kronos. Why am I locked in here? I can't remember anything. So we are going to give him some black salt gems in order for him to restore his memory. you up here. Can you help us escape? You spared me a lot of suffering. I'll help you. Let me think. Yes, I have a plan. Tell us what shrewd idea you have. I'll ring an alarm bell to raise the gate and bring the guards around to my side. You hide in the cell and go to the guard room when they've gone by. All right? That sounds like a good idea. Okay, so we're going to sneak out, and uh, that way we can avoid most of the combat. Now, you can, uh, if you wait here, uh, there will just come a lot of guards and they will start shooting. Um, so, we will let her take the weapon, which she will use, but we're going to go over to this door and uh, Escape. This now this is quite a tricky situation um, where you will need your invincible uh, uh, invisibility spell, which is the warp warp spell, and uh, you need to cast it on yourself and then drag immediately start dragging that. Um, this this crate along now I've done that quick enough so they won't shoot me but there will be guards coming and um, he will try to attack us but he's too late obviously you took a long time were you detained? Now we just need to hide for a second here while while she actually takes care of that guard. Um, while he's gone, or when he's gone, we're going to quickly push the crate up and against these ones because we need to escape on the top come on climb uh, there we go well the king is guiding my arm i love it when 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 the controls in this game are just uh, well they could have been better let me put it that way but anyway we didn't get hurt much. So this is a part where we need to escape over the rooftops. Um, we are just going to jump on this.
This is also the most tedious part of the game. Which, um, uh, well... I hope to get through too quickly. Get to the other side, pick up the plank, move it across. These two crates are tied together with a rope. Well, not a problem for us. So we cut the rope. And then uh, he decides to climb it, but no need for that. We're just going to pull it across. And uh, while he does enjoy the scenery, because this is a bit of a slow one. Basically, you need to push this all the way up to the right structure, structure on the right, so we can climb up even higher. So, climb on here. And then we're on the next segment. So we have to cross, go across on the other side. So another plank is needed. But obviously, when we try to step on it, I'm going to break my neck. Yeah, that's not very, very healthy. So we're going to try and push another crate. Try to steady that plank so that it won't fall, but also we can go to the other side. He won't go from there, so. Right. Well, that didn't go too bad. Um, another pulley. We're going to lower this one. Because we need to uh, bring our little friend over. Now, there is... An another lift here on the left, which... Um, which we need to get to, but um, in order to uh, to get us transported, we need to bring another crate up here, um, which is which is kind of uh, <laughs> annoying. So we need to get it, obviously. So we're going to head on here, and then hopefully Miss will turn the handle. Now. This bit is uh, is uh, is quite tricky. I, I hope um, okay. So if you wait, you will just yeah okay. Keep keep turning the handle. Um, yeah, this is a tricky one, but uh, I hope I'll get it through over and quickly. Basically, you just need to grab the uh, the crate that you just pushed all the way to the other side. Now, we need our invincibility spell, otherwise we're gonna get hit like that. We've got plenty of jarred garul, so um, no need to really panic here. We just need to um, make sure that uh, when it wears off, we reinforce it. Now, we might be able to get away by pulling the crate our way as protection. So, that kind of saves us loads of Jard Garul. Luckily you don't have to drag it all the way across, but still, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a very tedious puzzle. Um, 
especially when when you need to then go around it again and, and drag it on it. But um, we've managed to do it relatively quickly. You've got mail. So we are now going to position this crate. over to the other side. You can try and take uh, the wrist uh, gadget from her if you want. Thank you. Um, but you know what? You have it. We're gonna get one anyway, plus we have a lot more powerful things to work with later on. So just keep pushing this box up to here. And that is basically the end of this episode, which is uh, relatively short. Especially compared to the last one. We're free! You did a great job, Wells! Do you want to be one of us? Well, that's terribly kind of you, but I'm afraid I can't. I must go home, and in order to, I have to find Umarith's arch. So that I can get to the gates of eternity and meet Kronos. If he does indeed exist. So, you were serious when you spoke of Kronos. He is my only hope. You're a brave man, Wells. I can help you. I know where you can find Umarith's arch. Oh, thank goodness. Can you take me to it? First, we must go far into the desert to the rebel camp. We need a tripodon. Take back your weapon. I don't need it anymore. Okay. The journey across the great desert is long. At least if we have a tripodon, we can get away from its inhabitants. Do you mean the specters of the desert? The Limors? I despise those creatures. May they be cursed. Do you trust me now? I know a valuable man when I meet one. Don't forget that I'm the chief of the rebels. Yes. We can't slow down, Wells. The sacred guards might be coming after us. All right, all right, all right. Let's head down to our friend Willoughby. seem to be in very good shape, Willoughby. Yeah, he seems to be breathing very heavily, so we need to get him some water. Have a drink. <laughs> he was thirsty. So, we are off towards the rebel. I hope you will join me for the next episode.